Hello anglers, I am Greg Olala, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Navionics mapping card. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I am using my laptop to show you how to update a Navionics mapping card. I'm on my account at Navionics.com. When you purchase a card, the first thing you do is create an account on Navionics and update the card immediately before you use it. The card that I will be updating is my Navionics Hot Maps Platinum Plus North card, North Region card. All I'm going to do is put this into my laptop. Make sure the card is unlocked. And the computer will recognize the card. There you go. Hot Maps Platinum North Region. In blue, you can see the, the region that it covers. The North Region are all, all these states here. And it shows my subscription expires March 16, 2021. And my, I made sure that my plotter is uh, a Hummingbird Helix 10 Mega Side Imaging Gen 2. So you just put your plotter model and make in there over here. It's already marked the nautical charts, and I'm going to also mark, check mark sonar charts. That's the most important. That gives you the one foot contour lines, the depths. And you go down to the bottom here and click on start. And it's going to take a while. Most cards take like a half hour. Depends upon when the last time you updated it. And you can see here it's preparing. Just a minute here we'll I'll show you what it's gonna do. Make sure the card is unlocked. There's a little lock switch on them SD cards to make sure it's unlocked. Once you get an account, it re it, it uh, records every card that you purchase, or if you just got one, it'll show what card that is. Okay, here it shows. It's updating the nautical charts and the sonar charts. What I'm going to do is turn you off right now and save some time while this is updating and I'll turn you back on once the uh, card is complete. Okay, the update is complete, both the nautical charts and sonar charts. Now I'm going to show you how to update a large Navionics mapping card. The region cards are considered small, and the large card that I'll be updating is the Navionics Plus U.S. Canada, and that's a different process, a little bit. So I'm going to pull this card out. I'm going to put in my Navionics Plus U.S. Canada. Okay, we got our X out of here and activate card, update card. You 
And I'm going to pull the card out and put, put it back in so it recognizes the card. It should come up now. There we go. Okay. Again, up here it shows an Avionics Plus US Canada. And uh, my subscription expires March 16, 2021. My Helix 10 is notated. Now, see, you can see there's four. Let me X this out here. There's four different blue pins like. Now, on these cards, what you want to do, uh, let me go back up here and get that up, is you want to update the body of water that you're going to go fishing. And you're not going to want to update the whole USA and Canada. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you move these pins, these blue pins, you move them. To the body of water that you want to update. Okay, now I gotta get this. And we're gonna go to uh, Mendota Lake here in Madison. I want. I'll be fishing that coming up. So we want to go there. Well, I got to bring in them pins a little. Got to narrow them pins down. It's hard to do with this camera in my way, but we'll get it. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, actually, uh, go a little higher. I want to get that Cherokee Lake up there on the top. Okay, Cherokee Lake. It's a five-chain lake, actually. Mendota, Monona, Wabisa, and this one down here on the bottom is Kanaza. Okay, so I highlighted the bodies of water I want to update. You go over here and I'm clicking on sonar charts and nautical chart. Well, yeah, there it is. The community edits uh, is not applicable on the hummingbird units. At least not the Helix 10. Go down to start. Hit the start button. It's going to take a lot less time because it's a smaller area. Now you could update a whole state if you wanted, to. but you know to make this quicker, I'm just updating those four lakes in that that river there, the Harara River. That's all good catfishing. Okay, you can see that it's. Updating the nautical charts and the sonar charts. I'm going to shut down the video for sake of time, and when it's complete, I'll turn you back on. Okay, the update is completed. Both the sonar charts and the nautical charts. Now, if you wanted to do just the sonar charts, which is, in my opinion, the most important, one foot contour depths. Uh, if you did just selected that, it would be much quicker. And then down here you can see if you wanted to do another section of the anywhere in the United States or Canada, you just click on this add more. But that's all there is. What's left to do is you take your card out of the computer and go fishing and tight lines to you.